I am so excited to talk to my next guest. Their new song, Get Me Out of Here, is out now along with the music video. And if you watched it, you saw a familiar face, their girlfriend and Selling Sunset star, Chriselle Staus. Their relationship has been making headlines left and right lately. Chriselle got a cool drum lesson. So many updates. So joining me now to talk about their new song, video, and their hot new squeeze is singer G Flip. Hey, G. Welcome to the show. What's up? How are you going? Great, great, great. It's so fun to have you on. I'm so excited right in the thick of this launch of this new song. Uh, so let's talk about it. You shared that Get Me Out of Here was about getting hurt by someone and then being so emotionally done with the drama that you just walk away. So take me into the backstory on this song. Yeah, I, it was one of the first songs I wrote when I moved to L.A. So I moved here in September last year. Um, so I've been hanging out in LA for a while now, uh, since September. And yeah, this is one of the first songs that I wrote. I went into the studio with a producer that I wanted to work with for a very, very long time. His name is Dan Farber. Yeah, I guess I, we talked about, you know, what we wanted to write about and then we started jamming and then, uh, this song came out and yeah, it's about, uh, just being so emotionally done with the situation that you're in with that person that you're just like, get me the hell out of here. I'm done and I've got no Fs to give. All of my songs come from real life experiences, things that I've gone through, and then I just write stories and my music is always uh, stories of things that I've lived through. Nice. Well, let's talk about this video. Even though the song is about, you know, moving on from a toxic relationship, we see you making out with your girlfriend, Chriselle. So, so what was the decision to take the video in that direction? Because you guys weren't together when she was cast, right? Well, yeah, there's a bit. I've, I've seen and read some stuff that people think that we met on the set. And no, we knew each other before. We didn't meet on the set. The song has like a lot of aggressive nature to it. Like if you listen to some of my other songs, they're a lot more heartfelt. There's a lot more emotion more ballad -y, some of them. So this, like, the driving beat and just, like, everything instrumentation-wise is quite aggressive. So, like, it's a toxic relationship. That's what the song's about. So the, you can see, like, me and Kushel in the clip. It's not like we're all, like, calm and, like, you know, loving towards each other. <laughs> There's a bit of, like, aggression in it. So, yeah. That's it's intense. What we, yeah, it's a, it's a little, just a cheeky little bit intense. So obviously that was portrayed in the music video and, you know, music videos are pieces of art. It's like telling a story and obviously I'm a drummer, so I wanted to have drums in the clip. Um, I had like a circle track going around my drum kit. Um, yeah, and it was pretty hot and it's like, it was just a really fun music video to make and I'm proud to say 80% of the people that worked on the music video were queer, which is just great. So yeah, wow. it, was, it was super fun and people seem to be liking it. Some people are, it's a bit controversial or something, but like, whatever. Like, we had fun and like, we love it. Wait, so you cleared it up there. You guys didn't meet on the video set. When did you meet? And was this a relationship prior to shooting this hot and steamy video? We met last year at Halloween, Halloween. I don't know how you had to pronounce that, but Halloween. <laughs> um but we were both with our um, ex-partners then. So that was October last year. And then we obviously separated from our partners then. And then we just started talking and stuff. And then, yeah, we just found a lot of similarities. Even though people would think we're from like, like the different corners of the world, we find ourselves so similar sometimes. So it was really easy and fun on the film clip. Like just, you know, fun and breezy and easy. So it was great to to make that clip and yeah, me and Chriselle, we watched it so many times before we actually put it out. We went through so many edits of it. Well, uh, she has talked a, a lot about everything that she sees in you and, and what you kind of inspire in her, but how is it the other way around? What is it about Chriselle? I'm absolutely in awe of this woman. I'm like, I'm so proud of her to obviously come out and I feel like I'm not too sure. I actually never watched the sell Selling Sunset before, um, but I <laughs> feel like the audience, you know, isn't so much a queer space. And for her to come out and just, you know, just be herself and tell her story and just, you know, say it, like say that we're seeing each other, like it's big. It's like, to me, I feel like it honestly like 
changes the world and it norm like normalizes same sex relationships. There's conversations being had about, um, you know, two people who have the same sex organs can still have children. Yeah, there's so many people that are like trolling us saying, oh, like, you know, also just like, I'm non binary, that's how I identify. And it sparked conversations about that. And I just I'm so proud of her for just telling the truth and growing up queer, we've been and a lot of people have felt felt like this, you know, I've had hidden relationships before. I've had to hide my relationships before because I didn't feel like it was safe or it wasn't the right time in my younger days. I'm loud and proud queer and I don't ever want to hide, have to hide my relationships. And um, so I think it's it's beautiful and I'm just so proud and like in awe of Chriselle for how she's taking everything and how she's just, oh, she's just awesome. I can't talk high, like highly enough of it. Like, yeah, she's the most caring, loving, beautiful human being and so like genuine and just like this pure little cancer soul who's just like so like cute and beautiful and only wants to like light up a room and she does that. And yeah, I'm very fortunate to have her in my life. And, you know, I we both feel like we'll be in each other's life forever. We have like a very strong connection that you don't find every day. So yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> I love that you brought up the fact that, you know, th this has just struck up so much conversation yeah. out there with with Chriselle's fan base and the Selling Sunset and all, all of that. And one of the big things for her, uh, at least on this last season that everyone just watched and saw the um, saw the reunion was children and her talking about how much she wanted children. I'm just wondering for you personally, uh, as, even aside from Chriselle, is that something that you see in your future? Yeah, I definitely see children in my future. Right now, me and Chriselle know where we are in the stages of our lives and we're very transparent about that. But yeah, definitely see kids in my future. I love children. I was like a music teacher for years before I, you know, took my, I became a session drummer and then a solo artist so I was like I've always loved kids and yeah definitely one day that'll be in the future I love that I actually want some more of your backstory both musically and just personally I mean you are like you say loud and proud has it always been that way for you no I went to Catholic girls school and I you could say closeted I, I didn't come out till I was about 20 years old so um, but I always knew that I liked women from a very, very early age. Um, and, you know, I just didn't feel like it was a safe place for me to come out yet. I feel like I would have been ostracized. And, you know, I was in, say, we call it year seven. I think you guys call it the seventh grade. Um, and there was an older high school girl who um, came out at the all girls school and everyone just pointed at her and like whispered about her when she walked past. And obviously, these kind of experiences made those voices in my head dull down. So mm -hmm. even though I knew that I was queer in my head, like seeing those experiences where people are ostracized or pointed at, you know, it makes you afraid to be yourself and come out. So like I had so many of those experiences, which just like darken the voices in my head. So um, I struggled growing up with my sexuality because I couldn't be myself. And Really, sexuality is a spectrum and you just vibe off people's energies. Like it doesn't matter what is between your legs or what you look like or what shape or form you're in. If you vibe someone, you just vibe them and you can't help it. So, yeah, so I came out when I was 20 and um, honestly, as soon as I came out, it was so euphoric for me and it was like the best feeling in the world to just like live my truth and live freely. Um and love people, love the people that I love. And then being non-binary, I only came out um, non-binary last year. Um, and honestly, it was one of those things where I hadn't really educated myself on what being non-binary was. And when I finally did like have conversations about it, I just kind of stood back and I was like, oh my God, I've been non-binary my whole bloody life. And there's so, there's so many, you know, instances and situations you go through go growing up that I've looked back and I'm like, oh, makes sense now yeah because I used to look at myself in the mirror as a kid and just be like I feel like you're a boy but you're a girl and like just so many confusing voices which I love that um being non-binary and is it's 
ha- more conversations are happening about it and there's more people that are coming out, um, especially in the public eye, you know, Sam Smith, Demi Lovato. I just feel so like centered and just so myself that I can just cruise on in life and I just feel very secure and um, yeah, it's lovely to just be able to freely walk walk your own path and live your own life and be yourself. And so when you met Chrishell last year, uh, what was that discussion like? Um, did you find yourself having to kind of educate her in, in terms of non-binary? It was something that you had kind of come around to very recently yourself. Mm-hmm. But what was that discussion like? Everyone I meet, um, there's always, you know, if you don't have someone that's non-binary in your life that you're like spending a lot of time with, you know, getting pronouns right is hard. And I just want to say like with pronouns, if you get it wrong, just correct yourself and like move on and it's fine. Um, but yeah, I think for all my circles here, um, Chrishell and all my new friends that I've made and everyone I meet, you know, there's still a lot of education for people to understand what being non-binary is and how to use pronouns and what it actually means to be non-binary. Um, and people just need to educate themselves or just have conversations. Um, and I feel like, Right now, I'm getting like blasted with people being like, you know, you're this, you're that. And I think it's not talked about enough that your sex, so your sex you're born with is organs, male or female or intersex, but mm-hmm. then your gender is separate from that. So I can have like my sex can be female, like I was born with female organs, but my gender, your gender is how you perceive yourself like how how you see yourself and how your gender on the spectrum so me yes my sex is female but how I see my gender is I'm I feel like I'm in the middle I feel like I'm not entirely on one side so I identify as non-binary I love talking about this stuff because I like to educate and um, obviously Chrishell had lots of questions when she met me and everyone that I've met um, over here and every circle that I'm in. Because as I said, if you don't have someone who's non-binary very close to you, it can be tricky and can be hard to understand. So speaking of these circles that you're in, have you been welcomed into the Selling Sunset circle? And I'm just wondering, who do you like? Who do you not like? (laughs) What's going on there? I love Emma. Emma is (laughs) so rad. And I met Emma's mum the other day and her mum is awesome. We had a party here. I think some photos or it was blasted on social media. We had like a Tom, Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson party um, at Chrishell's place. And yeah, I met a lot of the crew there and like, I've made so many like great friends through Chrishell, but also just like the music scene here. And mm-hmm. obviously LA is where it's at. I feel like Australia is quite a quiet place compared to LA. Like this place is hectic. There's stuff going on all the time, every single night. And yeah, I've made a lot of really, really cool friends and people that I'll have in my life for, you know, as long as I live. And I'm just loving L.A. This place is sick. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm here, too. I love it just as much. <laughs> the weather's awesome. Like, I went to the comedy store the other day. That was cool. Like, <laughs> just like there's so many cool things. Everyone drives crazy, though. That's one thing that I'm like, whoa. Everyone's just like, <laughs> drives like psychos. Like, crossing like four lanes at once. I'm like, we don't have this in Australia. People don't drive like that. But yeah, loving it here. One more thing to clear up. Um, Are you and Chriselle like official? Like is, are you, you know, exclusive, official? Is this it? Yeah. Yeah. We are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's tattoos involved. So I I would hope. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. She just tattooed me. I think, yeah, that was a very funny, funny day. I was like, I was getting tattooed. And then I was like, Chriselle, like we've got the the songs coming out. Like, how about you give me a tattoo? And first of all, she was like, no. But then we're like, oh, it'd just be fun and funny. So yeah, I do have uh, the song title, Get Me Out of Here, tattooed on my leg by Chriselle. And she's been making jokes all week that she's going to open up a tattoo shop, which is very hilarious. But yeah, yeah, we're having You fun. are brave. You are brave. Oh, <laughs> I've got tattoos all over. I've got every single tattoo of my. I would let you tattoo me. Like, <laughs> if you want to, if you have a gun, let's do it. Like, my body's so temporary. I, like, don't mind what goes on my skin. And everything's just a little memory. Like, I like having on my skin 
the stories and the things and experiences I've experienced. So every little piece of art on my body has a story as to why it's there. So the one on my thigh, um, you know, it's a great memory. It's a, a beautiful memory and a beautiful time and we're having so much fun and yeah, life's great. It's just such a blessing to be able to speak with you and hear more about your story and hear more about this music. I'm feeling like a song of the summer vibe coming from this. It's a bit of a raunchy track. Yeah, it goes a bit hard. Um, and yeah, <laughs> hopefully people are liking it. And um, thank you to all the love that we've received. Um, it's been really beautiful. And um, yeah, I really hope that anyone wants to, if anyone wants to reach out about sexuality or anything or you know being non-binary please send me a message um or write me a letter or anything i always want to educate people and be you know a support system for the queer community um and yeah hopefully check out some of my tunes and yeah have a really good day <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much g flip it's such a pleasure to speak with you such a pleasure to speak to you too you're so lovely Oh, thank you. Ditto. Yeah. Right back at you. He's such a warm, warm human. <laughs> such a beautiful energy coming through the screen. <laughs> 